as you can see, all the yellow and the red is proposed mines in the area. So sulfide mining or copper mining, hard rock mining, has never been done in Minnesota before. And um, Ely is right up here, and this is where Sustainable Ely is, and where Amy and Dave guide dog sledding in the winter. Um, and that's where I live as well. And in our watershed, this is the watershed divide, um, there's about eight hard rock um, sulfide mines proposed in the area. And sulfide mines means that the metals that they want to mine are embedded in sulfide ore. And we call it sulfide mining because it's a really important part of this mining. The sulfide can create, will create, sulfuric acid. Um, there's also mines proposed in the watershed of Lake Superior. Um, and this is the watershed of the Boundary Waters. So here's Ely again, and you can see that um, any pollution from mines south of the watershed would drain into Lake Superior, um, just by the UP, and then up into the ocean. And then any mines um, north of the watershed divide would flow up into the Boundary Waters and further north. Mm. Um, this is just an up close, so uh, two mines that have names that are furthest along in um, prospecting the area. Um, <coughs> this is called Polymet, and Polymet is south of the divide, and any water flows into Lake Superior. Um, and that one, they just um, submitted a draft, supplementary draft environmental impact statement. And it was something that the state of Minnesota um, got to weigh in on, so there are about um, 50,000 comments on their environmental impact statement that the DNR got. Um, just citizens in Minnesota concerned about the project or in favor of the project. So it's a really big topic in Minnesota. I know you guys have um, copper mines up here too that have been proposed. Um, and then north of the watershed, so here's Ely. Um, Twin Metals is the mine that's furthest along in prospecting. There's still eight that are proposed in the watershed, but Twin Metals has a name. Um, they have a big fancy building in town, and um, they're working really hard to get permitted to um, put a copper mine right next to our community. So this is the South Kawishwe River that their deposits would rest on, and the water flows out of the boundary waters here, down past their deposit sites, and then back up into the wilderness. So it's really, um, one of the most important waters that goes into the watershed. Um, and this is really the heart of the Boundary Waters right here. Um, oh, back to this. So it's just a quarter mile outside of the wilderness area. Um, this is an up close plan of the Twin Metals site. So Twin Metals, the mine closest to Ely um, and in the Boundary Waters watershed, would pollute both watersheds. So these are their deposits on the South Kawishwe River, and um, this is where their plant would be. Um, and then they would uh, take all of their tailings um, and pump them in a slurry pipeline to the other side of the watershed divide so that any pollution from these tailings would flow into Lake Superior. So this has the potential to pollute two really important watersheds in Minnesota, and it doesn't just affect Minnesota. There's an international border right up here into Canada, and then there's all of the states east of us, and includes you guys, along Lake Superior.